Dal. Okay, this is Dal. And this is Dal. This is what? Dal and Ba. Okay, so Dal is. And then this is the awesome version of it. And Ba. Ba. I'm about to say. Everyone say. Awesome. Awesome. Like you're about to say awesome. Awesome. Make sense? That you can't say that awesome. You can't say that. Awesome. Awesome. Practice saying law by saying awesome after it. Even this one. You're gonna say sauce. Awesome. 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 Alright, good. Alright, next one. Ain. Okay, there's a specific characteristic which I hear this mistake all the time. People Biting into the ayn. Ah. Ah. No. Think of it as you're pushing the ayn sound away. Ah. Ah. Think it mentally that you're pushing the sound away. Ah. Like, I hear some people saying, like, maybe the ayah, right? I hear ah So you're pushing the ayn sound away. Oh, perfect. Alamin. Allahi Rabbil Alamin. Not what? Not Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin. I'm biting the eye. That's wrong. You want to push it away. Rabbil Alamin. I heard some biting sounds over there. Actually, let me hear everyone. Actually, we're going to do Fatiha anyways. But we'll get to that. So the ayn sound, you're pushing the ayn sound away. I still hear some mistakes. Let me hear some this half saying ah, pushing the ayn sound away. This side. I'm hearing something like You hear that? I hear I'm exaggerating it, but I hear no just once. I want to hear the ayn sound once. If I hear it means I'm hearing it two times. Alright, next one. This is the gargling sound. The gargling sound. Wall. You could do awesome with this. Awesome. Awesome. So say law. This is coming from the top part of the throat. We'll get to this soon. Next one, your top teeth need to be on your bottom lip. Think about it. Fa. Fa. Say F. Say E. Good. I think that's easy. If you have any more questions, please raise your hand. Next one. Awesome sound again. Law. 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 So this is your tongue is touching the throat, the back part, the soft part of the back of the throat. Which is the soft palate. So it's law. Law. Okay, this half I want to see here. Law. 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 Again, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, that's good. Beside, one, two, three. Again. One more time. Oh, oh, awesome. Oh. Okay, excluding you, everyone else. One, one, two, one, one, two, three. Again, one, two, three. One more time. With some energy. Okay, good. I'm hearing some like gargling in your paws. Something like that. Oh. Good job. Okay, next one. <coughs> it's easy. This one's kya. Say it. Ka. Good. Lam. Easy. L. L. I want to see everyone smiling when you say this. Happy letter. L. L. Don't be sad. Don't be sad. L. L. Everyone smiling. Okay, and the reason I need you guys to extremely enunciate this is because this is how you learn that word, that Arabic word called the You have to enunciate everything extremely. So L. I want to see everyone Putting their mouth. L. 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 Good job. L. Our next one. Meme. M. So 
one's really easy. I don't think you need to go over that one. Next one, na, an. An. Next one. Wow, ow. Ow. Remember this lama sound? So say ow. If you're saying ow. What's that? No. I want you to actually go woo with your mouth and make it a circle. If it's not, if you don't can't see yourself, look at your phone while it's off and say ow. I'll tell you guys who's not doing oh properly. Oh. 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 So let's say Qul huwa Allah. Qul huwa Allah. You're not doing it in that ooh sound. You're saying Qul huwa Allah. Big lazy. Ooh. 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 All right, make sure you just have that wow perfected. Next one is ha easy as the other ha. Um, Actually, this is the only one hand. So this is ha, comes from the throat, but this one comes from the chest. Ha. 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 Say, ihdi. <laughs> Say, um, ahlaknam. <laughs> okay, I have this problem so many times with my students. They're like, ahlak, ahlak, ahlak. It's not ha, it's ha. How do I fix this? How do you laugh at someone? <laughs> you say ha, 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 so funny. No, you say ha. So say, ahlaknam. <laughs> Ah, lakna. You hear that surround sound feeling? Ah, ah. I'm using my voice too. Ah. That surround of the whole chest being used, and that expiation of the air. Ah, lakna. Good job. Then this is a special letter. It's called it's called Hamza. It's the stoppage of a sound like ah, like. Uh, you just stop where you are. Uh, I think my teachers call it the. Um, I forgot what it's called. Now. But the. I forgot what it's called. But uh, you just stop in your tracks. Like, uh, who give me an example of it? Uh, it comes up. Sama. So say Sama. Sama. I don't want to hear too much sama. No. I don't want to hear that. Just sama. There's a little bit going up, but not too much. You don't want to extreme like sama. Like, no. Sama. You're just stopping where you are. I don't want to hear sama. Or anything after. Just stop right where you are. Sama. Alright, good job. Alright, next one. Yeah, easy. Yeah. Okay. Until then, if there are any questions, please ask, and we're going to keep going. Please ask any questions. No, Kaki is the thing we're asking. Yes? Kaki, 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 Okay, until then. Any other questions about yes. letters? So you said the hamza is like a it's like a stopping of the of the sound, yes. I guess so, yeah. You can just you have to completely stop. Right? Or um there's this one I uh lamuna, yeah lamuna ma tat lamuna you're stop you're stopping completely. Tat lamuna. Right? Uh no, you can keep that. Uh, so it's completely stopping in your tracks. That, that one, right? Okay, next one. What is it? For which letters? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna get that to that when we do fatha at the end. That's, that's our finishing goal. Is to recite fatha perfectly. All right, next one. There's something called the throat letters. P H R O A T. Pretty sure that's how you spell throat. All right, letters. All right, so this is a throat, and then this is someone's mouth, and then this is right here. Their face is the throat letters. All right. There is six right here. So on the bottom, you have. Alif and Ha. Say A and Ha. A and Ha. A and Ha. A and Ha. I don't want anyone to be super to be masked and say 
no. This is a uh and ha. Let's make it easy. Uh, uh. Okay, now we're going to become the dream masters and say ain, ah, and ha. So touch your throat and tell me if it's coming from the same spot. Ah and ha. Again, ah and ha. For those having trouble with ha, you can just say it's the same place where ah comes from. Ah and ha. Okay, who can tell me really quickly what was the characteristic of ain that I said? Pushing it away. And then ha, I want, what did I say the characteristic of that is? The scratchy sound, right? Ha. Ha and ha. Okay. And then the top of the throat you have? Ghain and Kha. So say Kha. Kha. And Kha. For everyone touching their throat, most of you guys are completely wrong. I don't know what you're touching. Literally every single person, I thought it was wrong. Kha. Law and law. If you have an Adam's apple, you're going to be on top of it. So Adam's apple, right on top. Law and law. So let's see. Alif and ha. A and ha come from the chest. A and ha. A and ha come from the middle. Right underneath the Adam's apple. Your Adam's apple is going to be right here. This is your Adam's apple. So touch this. This is chest territory. Right here. This is on top of the Adam's apple. So. Alif ha, chest. A and ha, right underneath your Adam's apple. A and ha. A ha. Okay, then on top, ho. 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 Okay, keep this in mind. These are the throat letters. Who's going to raise this for me? Okay, we're gonna tie all this stuff together. Okay, so after the throat letters, we're going to do throat letters. Um, okay, so we went through the throat letters. There's one more thing. The awesome letters. What are the awesome letters? So the all the awesome letters. So there was a aw, aw. There's an actual order for this. I mean, that's not the right order. Ba, 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 So the phrase is Pusla Dal Plain Khil. That's Pusla Dal. Oh, Ba. And then Plain Khil. Okay, so these are all the awesome letters. Why do I call them awesome letters? It's obvious. They all make an aw sound whenever you're saying them. Ba, sa, ba, ra, ta, kha, ba. Yes. Did I make a mistake? No. I wrote a gene. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. So, ba, sa, ba, plain tail. My tajweed teacher used to always tell me, if you could say that, then why are you learning to dream? Ba, sa, ba, plain tail. Okay, there's a little bit of mistakes, but it's okay. So these are all the awesome. awesome letters. Okay, remember them as awesome letters. So we've learned throat letters. We've learned awesome letters. Yes. Why is it? It was counted the awesome letter. So that's what we're going to talk about next. So these are the awesome letters. Now we're going to talk about their exceptions. The exception is ra. So what is ra? Ra is like this. So. Oh wow, that's a bad law. Okay, so there is a rule rule of law. The rule of law is that if there is anything on top of the law, meaning what? Fatha and Dhamma, then the law is heavy. 
Remember this. If there's anything on top of the ra, the ra is heavy. So, al, ur, good. And now, if there's anything underneath the ra, means in the kasra, it would be light. So it could be heavy and light. Al, ur, or id. Any questions? Any questions? No one asked me about what if there's nothing on it? What if there's a sukun on it? Then what do you do? You look at the letter before it. Al or 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 Eid. Eid. Eid is light. Eid is light. Al is heavy. Make sense? So the Ra can be heavy and light both at the same time. Right? So sometimes it could be an awesome letter, sometimes it's not that awesome. So, like in the word, feed it out. A very not awesome word. Feed it out. The Ra is light. So this is say Eid. You have to really smile to say the sound. Eid. Eid. Let me hear everyone say. This half say Eid. Eid. I don't want to. I don't want to hear ear. It's not ear. Eid. It's touching that a lot sound. Eid. The back row. One, two, three. I'm hearing ear. Eid. Make it even lighter. An E sound. Remember, we talked about the kasra being an E sound. So E and then D at the end. Eid. So now say Feed Aun. Not Firu. You're, you're kind of tempted to go to the Wu sound. Just train yourself. Feed. Feed. Aun. I want to see you continuing to smile while, before you're saying Aun. Feed. Feed Aum. So now say Feed Aum. Everyone here, Feed Aum. Remember the Feed, you're still smiling, and then Aum after that. Feed Aum. So the Ra is extremely light. What are some examples of heavy letters? So Aw Sala. Aw Sala. The Ra is like a lion roaring. Aw Aw Sala. Aw Sala. I want to hear that scary what sound. Oh, salam. And then Quran. Quran. Um, what's another one? Rasul. 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 So the ra sound is heavy, right? Okay, so that is the rule of ra. Any questions? All right. Now there's a rule of lamb. The lamb. What is the rule of lamb? Very easy. Is the lamb? is only heavy in one word, which is the name of Allah. So if the name of Allah has, it starts with a fatha, so so if it's Allahu, it's Allahu. Now if there is a lam, how would it sound? If if there's a lamb, I've heard people literally say Lillahu. Wrong. Lillahi. If there's a lamb, I'll be a he. Lillahi. Lillahi. So like Bismillahi. Guys, y'all hear me? Some of y'all off track. Lillahi. Okay, and Wallahu. Back row over there. Say Wallahu. 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 A little bit heavy. Wallahu. Wallahu. Say, say Lawsome. 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 Now that same sound. Wallahu. Wallahu. Okay, that's good. You guys? Wallahu. Wallahu. Louder. Wallahu. Wallahu. I heard a mistake. Who was that? Wallahu. Okay, you. Wallahu. What was you? Wallahu. Okay, you're making the lamb very like wal wal wallahu. What what am I doing there? Wallahu. I'm making the beginning of the lamb light. Wallahu. No. Wall from the beginning. Wall, wall, who? 
from the beginning. Don't be light with alam. I have heard many of my students saying, Walla, wallo, wallo. They're switching up in the middle of the word. No. From the beginning. Wallahu. Good. Alright, so that's the rule of lam. So we've done the rule of ra, which was? Heavy for heavy. anything on top. And lam, if there is only in the name of Allah, it's heavy. Okay, now we're almost ready to read Surah Fatiha. Almost there. So, who knows the rule of noon? The big, hard, difficult rules of noon. With all those different, difficult Arabic terms and stuff I literally forget all the time. Rules of noon. Yes. Yes, okay, so the, the blending sound, and I'm going to say blending sound for that G-H word, okay, or the line word, blending, okay, Ghunna is blending, okay, so what, how can we learn these noon rules? I think there's like five, six noon rules that we learn, so listen, this is how I teach it in a completely concise way that you will be surprised how easy it is. So, three categories. So, rules of noon. If you want to write this down, you can. But if the writing down will make you distracted, then don't write it down. Um, noon. Rule of noon. So, there's three categories. I want everyone to pay attention really well. Three categories. Number one, there is clear. Number two, silent. Number three, blend. Why did I write clear and silent? No, I didn't mean that. Oh wait, it is clear. What am I saying? Clear, silent, and blend. Three things. Clear, silent, and blend. Remember these three things. From now on, if there's a noon with a connecting sign on, what is the connecting sign? This is Sukun. What is this? Oh, sorry. What is this? Ashadda. Arabic word, huh? This noon is means connect. Connect. This is connect and hold. What do I call it? Connect and hold. This one. I connect to it. So if I had an alif, I would say an. I just connected it. An. What is the misconception about shadda? What other people call it? What is the definition of shadda that people wrongly call it? Yeah. No, no, no. What do they say the meaning of shadda is? They say double letter, two sound, bouncing sound, double nuance. No. All that stuff is wrong. It's connect and hold. How do you hold on to something? When I have this marker, and I, the marker is the noon, I come and connect it. Anna, anna. It's not anna, anna. It's not two sounds. Anna. So I go and say, anna. anna. So now we're going to try connecting and holding all these different letters. Fa, afa, abba, iya. Okay. Yeah, without the mic. Yeah. 